Welcome to GTV. Today I would like to demonstrate how to do a basic startup and operation of an ABB ACS 550 AC drive using the keypad. After verifying that the wiring is correct, I will apply power to the drive so that I can begin programming. First, I'll review the keypad. In the upper left corner of the display, there is an indicator for the location of the drive control. REM means remote operation. The drive will be controlled by field devices such as start-stop switches and speed pots, which can be connected to the terminal strip of the drive. LOC means local operation, which means that the drive will control start-stop and speed adjust from the keypad. This is set by pushing the button labeled LOC slash REM on the keypad. For this demonstration, the drive should be in local mode. Next to the location indicator on the display is an arrow. This arrow shows the direction of motor rotation. The arrow will rotate when the drive is in a run mode. The direction can be reversed by pushing the left soft key over here below the display. The key is labeled DIR or direction on the display. In the upper right corner is the speed command in Hertz, which will be the speed of the motor when controlled by the drive when in the local mode of operation. Just below the display, there are two soft keys. Their functions are labeled just above them. These functions will change depending on what operation is being performed. The arrow keys are used to adjust speed, make menu selections, or change the value of the parameter. The help button provides a little information about what is currently on the display. The start and stop buttons are for starting the drive in local mode of operation. The three rows of data on the display show the values of the motor when it is running. They indicate the speed of motor in hertz. The current draw of motor in amps and the amount of torque that the motor is producing in percentage of calculated full torque. Now that I have reviewed the control panel, I will begin to program the drive. First, I need to get the motor information from the nameplate that is typically attached to the motor. I will enter this motor information into the drive via the control panel. First, I will push the menu button, which is currently the right soft key. The word parameters should be highlighted. If not, I'll use the up and down arrows to highlight it. Now I'll push the soft key for enter. The display will now show the parameter groups by number and description. Group 01 should be highlighted. I'll push the up arrow once and 99 startup data should be highlighted. Then I'll push the select button. I am now into the group 99 startup data parameter list. Since I want to enter the motor data, I will arrow down to 9905 motor nominal voltage and push the edit button. Using the up and down arrows, I'll enter the voltage of the motor from the nameplate. The motor in this demonstration unit is 230 volts. After I have set the voltage, I'll push the save button. Next, I will arrow down to 9906 motor nominal current and I'll push the edit button. Again, I'll use the up and down arrow keys to enter the full load of amps of the motor from the nameplate, which for this demo is 1.4 amps. Now I'll push the save button. Next, I'll go to parameter 9907 and I'll enter the motor nominal frequency, which is 50 hertz in this case. Next, I'll go to parameter 9908 and enter the motor's nominal speed, which is 1370 RPM in my case. Next, I'll go to parameter 9909, which I will enter the motor nominal power. This one is one horsepower. At this point, I have completed the entry of my motor nameplate data, so I will push the exit button three times to get back to the main screen. At this point, I will check to make sure that it is safe to run the motor. The value in the upper right corner should be at zero hertz. If not, push and hold down the arrow until it is. Now I will push the start button and the arrow in the upper left should be rotating which indicates that the drive is in the run mode. 
I'll push and hold the up arrow. The speed command in the upper right corner should increase and the motor should start rotating. I'll release the up arrow when I get to the run speed that I desire for my motor. The top line of the three lines of data should show that the drive is running the motor at commanded speed. I can also see how much current in amps the motor is drawing and the percentage of torque the motor is producing. I can push the direction button to switch the direction of the motor. The drive will ramp the motor down to zero speed and reverse the motor direction. The arrow up here will change and the motor then ramps back up to the commanded speed. Since the motor is operating in reverse, the display shows that it is producing negative torque. I can push the stop button to stop the motor. Notice that the speed command on the upper right of the display still shows the commanded speed of the motor before the stop button was pushed. If I push the start button, the drive will ramp the motor up to the same commanded speed. This concludes the basic startup of an ABB ACS 550 AC drive. The ABB ACS 550 AC drive, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at galco.com.